Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we- oh my goodness, what in the world? Yes. Since the last video, I have actually changed operating systems. As of right now, I am still figuring out how to use Arch. Anyways, that aside, in this video we are going to be getting things in our project set up so that we will be able to work with the view, like the actual web page, and the styling and how things look for the more or less finished product of this game. So there are a few adjustments that we have to make and organizational things we have to do and a few more classes to make and then in the next video we will start on the display and the actual web page the interface so the first thing that i need to address is there is a bug in the shuffle function here um and that is this i variable is allowed to go all the way down to zero which means that at the very end of the shuffle loop we are setting this dot cards with an index of negative one so all that we need to do to fix that is delete that character there <sighs> and i'll just commit that real fast git add didn't save it, duh. There. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, and get commit fix shuffle bug. All right, that looks good to me. So now we fix that, and I'm going to do a little bit of reorganization so I'm going to create a new folder in our TypeScript folder called lib and I'm going to move all of these helper classes in there like that. Okay, let's see what git has to say about that. git add ts lib git status git add now if I do this ts Get status. Oh no. Card.ts. I believe. And hand.ts. Get status. There, now it thinks that I renamed them, which is basically what I did. Get commit. Reorganize to lib. Lib folder. All right, looks good. All right, now some classes that we have to make is a round class. I'm going to make round.ts. And this is going to represent one instance of the game. So public constructor and each instance of the game is going to take a bet, which is a number, and each instance of the game is separate from any other instance, so it'll have its own deck, it'll have its own hand, and of course its own bet. So I'm going to say private um, deck, which is a deck, and oh, I have not reconfigured my TS config, so in here I just have to say dot uh, TS lib and dot TS like that. That should reconfigure it properly. Now we come over here, and it should be able to find this name. There we go. All right. So private deck and um, I'm going to say public 
read only hand, which is a hand, and um, public read on read only bet, which is a number. Okay, so this dot bet equals bet. And it won't do validation in this class. It'll be pretty basic for now. This dot deck equals new deck. This dot deck dot shuffle. And this dot hand equals new hand. And I'm going to create public. I'm going to create a draw function that'll just load everything into the hand. So this dot hand dot oh um, I'm gonna make a modification to our hand class here make these public public like that All right. I wonder if I can make these read only would that cause any errors well that looks good all right, so I guess we'll make it read only then. So this dot hand dot cards dot um, dot, dot push uh, this dot deck dot draw, and I could do this in a loop, but I'm just going to paste it in there five times because we're always going to have a f hand of five cards, and it's not that big of a deal, in my opinion. I mean, you could make a loop if you want. It'll work just fine. Okay, that looks good right now. So, um, next we can delete all of this. And let's get this started. We'll start with an index.html. So we're move, moving on to the actual display now. Doc type HTML, HTML lang equals n. You know what, I'll just speed up this part in the video so you don't have to watch me type the HTML out. All right, so here we go. Here is our HTML for now. And we have a link to our JavaScript just like we want. So I'm going to start prototyping um, what we want our HTML to look like in here. So I'm going to make a main element and inside we'll have um, um, betting and we'll have uh, dot cash in there and we'll say how much cash you have and then an input now I'll say how much do you want to bet class equals bet input like that and then a button that says bet bet button okay and then we'll have cards a uh, cards div and inside of here we'll have a whole bunch of these card divs with images inside. Now, we don't have any images yet for our game, so I'm gonna grab some SVG files from a GitHub project. Let's see, um, vector playing cards, I think is what it's called. Let me say GitHub. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, and if I just want to download this as a zip file. I've already downloaded it once before, so here we go. Then we can extract it. And this is what we're after here, this folder. So I'm going to copy this folder and then We'll go back over and we'll say Jacob Projects Video, oh no, Tutorials Video Poker. And we'll paste those in there. 
and rename that to images. Let's see what's in there. All of those cards is what we want. Perfect. All right. Now go back over to our editor and see. What so these cards, we're going to have to add something to our card class so that it'll generate the right name for our cards. So public get image name string. That's going to return um, just the name of the image. Exactly. So I'm going to say let s is a string and r is a string that stands for suit and rank. Um, just the little parts that we'll piece together to get the final name. So if this dot rank equals one or this dot rank is greater than 10, then we want to grab the first letter because see we have J for Jack, A for Ace, K for King, Q for Queen, and those are all here, A, J, Q, and K. So we'll say then R equals this dot um, rank name dot char at zero. Okay. Else R equals this dot rank and it's a string. Okay. And suit is this dot suit name dot char at zero. Okay, then we'll piece these together and we'll say return r, which is rank first, plus s, plus dot svg. So that should give us our image names so that we can use them in this uh, once we're done prototyping. So image, um, let's say ace of spades dot svg for now. And I'll copy and paste these a couple times because we're going to have five of them. And then after our cards div, we'll have um, a button dot play button. Like that, and say play. So how the game is going to work is you'll, um, you'll first place a bet. And then it'll show you five cards. And then you'll click on the cards you want to discard. And then you press play, and it'll draw to replace the cards that you discarded, and then it'll show you your score. So that's how that's going to work. Now um, let's head over to our browser and see what this looks like. All right, we need to do some styling. So I'm going to create a new folder called SCS, or SAS. That's what I'll call that and a new folder called CSS. And we'll make a new file in here called main.scss. Okay. And it looks like I have SAS is running just perfectly, just like I need it to be. And we'll start out by saying main display inline flex and flex direction column. That didn't look like it did much, but that's okay. Um, because inside of here, we'll say cards, display, display, flex, flex direction. Well, actually, the default direction should be fine. Oh, I didn't, of course. I always do that, don't I? Link, rel, style sheet, href, is CSS main.css just like that there now it's working I was kind of getting a little suspicious there all right now we can style cards and inside of there is their respective images the images will say with I don't know 100 pixels that looks good and we'll give them a little bit of padding 10 pixels that looks good okay um Actually, I'll place that in the card here, like that. And so then we can say cursor, pointer, like that. Um, so now we get a pointer, and we'll add a hover effect. So add hover. 
um, background color RGBA zero whoops zero 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 point four and opacity of zero point four should also there we go uh, maybe the opacity is a little bit um, too much okay that looks okay to me and then um, some of these like Remember when we went and implemented our hand class? In here, we return scoring cards so that we can highlight them later. So I'm gonna uh, make sure that we implement this class highlight, highlighted. And then also ones that we're planning on discarding. So discard, discarded, and highlighted. We have to implement those two classes. So um, I'm gonna make the Hover style come after so and highlighted we'll say uh, background color red green blue so full green and um, discard carded background color of RGBA zero 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 point one and opacity of zero point point one we'll try that for now okay so that one's going to be discarded maybe that's a little bit too too little opacity there now you can still see it a little bit okay so this is what our basic user interface so no it's not done yet i still have to say dot betting i think that's what i called the class Yep. Okay. Display flex. Flex. Oh no. Flex direction. Default flex direction. That's fine. And um. Oh, I have to do. Uh. All of those. Uh, padding or rather margin. Right of ten pixels just to give them a little bit of room please work why are you not working Ugh. there now it worked just taking a little while to compile and then our play button did I call that play or play button play button font size uh, 30 pixels for now come on there we go all right, nice big play button. Okay, so we have the user interface mostly fleshed out. We did a little bit of reorganization and I think we're ready to get the user interface hooked up with event listeners and all kinds of stuff. So you can look forward to that in the next video. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned something from it, even though I was kind of all over the place, reorganizing stuff and fixing bugs and making stuff here and there and fleshing out user interface, whatnot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it uh, helped you in your uh, coding endeavors or whatever. Anyways, my name is Jacob. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.